procedural point of view to assess what are the necessary next steps. We took note about uh, the announcement uh, of Prime Minister Cameron just some minutes ago, stepped down, but only in October. And uh, that will create for sure a debate also in the next meeting about uh, the content of the declaration of the British Prime Minister in the next uh, Council on Tuesday next week. And I will therefore carefully assess together with my colleagues, the president of the other institution, what does it mean for triggering Article 50. And um, we in the European Parliament um, are prepared to contribute in, with all our means to a constructive process. And the group leaders with an overwhelming majority representing uh, the overwhelming majority of the members of the European Parliament underlined that stability is needed on both sides. Stability means also stability within the European Union and amongst the 27 member states. And uh, I want to re repeat what was described in the settlement, which is now null and void, after the decision of the uh, British voters, both sides should respect mutually their different views. Now the United Kingdom decided to leave and therefore the member states who remain in the European Union must discuss how to improve the European Union and how to protect, especially the Eurozone countries, how to protect the Eurozone in the next coming month, protect against what is happening already now with the pound, what is already happening on the international markets. In that time we are entering in turbulent times, we need stability and that's what I hope what will be the outcome of the next meetings of the Council of the European Parliament, of the Commission and of the meeting just ahead and I think after the meeting of the four presidents we will um, report to you in a more intensive way what are the next necessary and foreseeable steps. Thank you. Thank you.